Here with us now is Harsh Carbonda, product manager on Lens. Welcome, Harsh. Hi, Emily. <laughs> Harsh, there were so many AR announcements at I.O. Let's go a little deeper with one of them, Lens and Google Go. Can you take us back to when you all were first conceiving it? What were the problems that you were trying to solve? Sure. Uh, so technology is getting cheaper and more accessible. Smartphones today can cost as little as $50. And while building all our OCR and document structure understanding capabilities in Lens, we realized that these can be transformational for users new to smartphones. There are two things that we realized about users who are new to smartphones. The first thing is that the smartphone is likely their first digital device. Unlike you and I, they haven't grown up with desktops. Mm -hmm. uh, and so the keyboard itself is a novel concept for them. They have to learn how to express information needs for the first time on a two-inch keyboard. And typing is just fundamentally hard. The second thing we realized was that these users typically have lower literacy rates, which means that they come across text throughout their lives, bank forms, ATM notices, street signs, text that they want to understand, but really have to depend on others to do so. But the camera is something everybody knows how to use. The selfie has really made its way around the world. So we thought, what if we could build a camera that could help you learn, understand, and read the world around you? And that's what we did with Lens and Google Go. That's super cool. I foresee myself making use of Google Go when I travel, for example. It's like, if I don't know the language or the alphabet, it's like I have my own personal translator. Um, can you tell us about the first time you saw someone use Lens, how you had envisioned? Sure. Uh, so we've been testing Lens in Google Go uh, over the past several months, and we've seen uh, people use it in several different uh, instances throughout their daily lives. Bank forms, ATM notices, product packages, medicine labels. But the point where we realized we were making a true impact on the users' lives was when we saw a parent uh, using Lens in Google Go uh, on their child's homework to understand what the homework problem was and help them in their education. Before that, the homework was in English. The parent could not really help the, uh, help the child. Uh, but in this case, they were able to take a picture, translate it into the language that they understood, and understand the problem and be really a part of their child's education. Uh, and that is something that's really humbling and gratifying to see. Harsh, that sounds really awesome and also fairly complex. Can you tell us about some of the technical challenges that you faced while building this? Yeah, so uh, to be able to do all of this, we had to bring the technology uh, to a phone that new smartphone users would be able to afford. Um, and so we had to bring OCR to be able to take, understand the text that users take a picture of, machine learning to translate the text into the language that these users speak, uh, TTS to be able to read it out in a very naturally accented form, and even AR to highlight each word as it's being read out, all done on a phone that costs as little as $50 in an APK footprint of 100 kilobytes. Uh, and that was a really hard technical challenge for us. Harsh, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, Emily. Thank you.